You've probably heard of AstroPad, the app that turns your iPad into a Wacom Cintiq-like drawing tablet. Well, this is Easy Canvas. It's basically the same idea, but it works on Windows. So let's go and test it out. In a nutshell, Easy Canvas does what it says it does, and it does it okay. So here's how it works. First of all, you're gonna need the app that's available for your iPad, and then you're gonna have to go on your computer and download a second piece of software onto your laptop. You run both apps at the same time on your two different devices. Then when you plug your iPad into your laptop with a USB cable, it auto-magically finds your iPad. And voila, your computer screen is now mirrored onto your iPad screen. And most importantly, you can now use your Apple Pencil to draw on your laptop. One of the limitations of the iPad since the beginning have been the apps. There are some really good ones out there, but a lot of artists and illustrators are used to their desktop apps. That's what they want to draw in. So that's really what this software is designed to do. Taking your desktop software and giving you that interface over on your iPad so you can draw with it there. For those of you who have been around for a while, you're thinking, hey, this sounds a lot like AstroPad, and that's because it is. It's pretty much the same thing. I was really surprised with how easy this was to set up. Once I had the two apps running, it just automatically found my iPad. I didn't have to jump in and fool around with the settings or anything. Now, one of the benefits this has over AstroPad, like I said before, is that it works on Windows too. AstroPad is Mac only. There's another app out there called Duet Display, which I've talked about before. It's another competitor. It does similar things. And Duet Display also works on Windows. For those of you who are wondering what iPad am I using and what kind of performance am I getting out of that, I am using the brand new 2018 standard iPad that now works with the Apple Pencil. I also tested it out with the newer 2017 iPad Pro, the 10.5 model. On the Mac, I got similar results, but on Windows, it did perform better than the new iPad did. If you're planning on using this on Windows, that might be something to take into account. I'm gonna be talking about performance in two chunks. I'm gonna be first talking about how this performed on the Mac, and then I'm gonna be testing it out on Windows and seeing how it performs there as well. Then I'm gonna talk a little bit about AstroPad and Duet Display and how it compares to those two programs. Let's talk about the Mac first. Pressure, consistency, is okay. It's not great, but but it works. Every so often, the pressure comes on a little too strong or doesn't come on fast enough. Might take that just extra step after you start to apply it before it kicks in. It's very subtle. It's not like at half an inch later, but you do notice that. Overall, the slower I drew, the better it performed. My main problem that I was running into is that the pressure never really felt consistent. Especially if I was trying to draw my lines quickly, they always turned out thicker than I expected them to. Also, with those fast strokes, they tend to be inconsistent and not quite as smooth. You can see this most clearly in the tapering of the hatch lines. In general, when I was drawing, when I was just sitting down to sketch, I found that I had to keep going over lines because they just kind of taper out too quickly and get too thin, or I'd have to undo lines because they were getting thicker than I expected them to. Let's go over to Windows and talk about that for a minute. In general, I had a rougher time on Windows. I encountered quite a bit of lag. Now, it's possible that the Surface Pro I'm testing on is the problem here, that it's just not up to uh, the speed it needs to be at to handle this program. You may need a faster computer. So I wanted to get that disclaimer out of the way. There's also a 14 day free trial. So if you've been dying for an app like this that works on Windows, go ahead, download it, see what kind of performance you get with your setup. It's entirely possible that you're gonna get much better results. I tried using several programs. Sketchable gave me the best performance. Photoshop was acting up. I couldn't really get a good test going on there. And I also used Clip Studio a little bit. That worked okay, kind of laggy. In Sketchable during my test, it, it did okay when I was drawing slow. In fact, I felt that the pressure was working pretty good and, and overall it, it felt pretty good. I decided that since Sketchable was the fastest app that seemed to be performing the best for me, that's the one I was gonna do my inking test on. Once I imported that image and zoomed in and got everything set up, I found that the lag was just too untenable. I couldn't draw with it. The whole experience was just rough. When you have bad lag, it's hard to know where your lines end or where things are gonna match up. And when you combine this with the pressure inconsistency when you start drawing quick lines, some weird things can start to happen. So unfortunately, I feel like my Windows experience is pretty inconclusive. I did not like it at all, um, and I don't know if it's my computer or the app. So for right now, I'm gonna give it a pass on that and say, Test it out yourself with the free trial. Now let's talk about AstroPad and Duet Display. How does this compare to those two applications? Well, AstroPad is definitely the gold standard here. Easy Canvas doesn't reach those levels of quality. And in general, it doesn't quite feel as good as Duet Display yet, even though I had some similar issues when I was testing Duet Display a couple months ago. In Easy Canvas, the pressure just kicks in a touch too late. And anybody who's used to using the Apple Pencil or any kind of Wacom tech is gonna pick this up and notice that right away. When I was using this 
app, the one thing that I really missed were gestures. In fact, for the longest time, when I was recording most of this video, I didn't know that you could even do gestures in the app. The last second, I actually discovered that yes, you can. You just can't use gestures and the Apple Pencil at the same time. There's a little button in the upper corner, you have to switch it back to finger mode, and then you can zoom and pan and stuff like that. I hope in future versions, they're able to streamline this a little bit, make it a little bit easier to use. One of the things you can do is you can resize your screen. By default, it goes full screen, so you're gonna get black bars along the top and the bottom, but all you have to do is set the resize thing and then pinch and zoom to adjust to the window size that you want. So in conclusion, I have to say, I just didn't really enjoy drawing on this thing. It works, it does what it says, and if you're drawing slowly, you can get some accurate stuff that, that works pretty well. But here's the problem you're gonna run into. If you've been drawing in Procreate on your iPad for a while, or really any other drawing program that's available on the iPad right now, it's really responsive. It feels really good. And as soon as you boot this up and connect it to your computer and you start drawing, you're going to notice those little things. It might be hard to put your finger on why it doesn't feel good as good as some of the other apps out there, but you will definitely notice. And unfortunately, it's, it's those little things that derail your experience. As soon as you have that latency between the iPad screen and what you're drawing, and what actually appears on your computer and how that those things are picking up on each other, it makes a big difference when you're drawing. Especially since the native iPad experience is so good. But like I said before, you should definitely check it out yourself since there is a 14 day demo. After that, it's only $12.99 and I'm pretty sure that's only a one time purchase. So if you have any comments or questions or anything I missed along the lines, let me know down below. It's all I've got for today and I'm gonna see you guys later.